Welcome back to Sword Coast Legends. Alright, I've been pretty much everywhere in this area. I'm still missing one item for this ritual. Grave dust. But you know what? I'm gonna take another walk through the graveyard because that just bothers me. I mean, it's grave dust. Where would you find it? In a graveyard. In a grave. It, I mean, it just... It doesn't make sense for me to get it somewhere else. It just... It's so obvious that Need I would find it. Grave dust in a graveyard. There should literally be tons of this stuff around. So, maybe it's on the surface somewhere. Maybe it's not in one of the mausoleums. Maybe there's a grave I can. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can target any of these. I can smash all of these. Wow. They look mad. Was it just that easy? Just destroying a tombstone, any tombstone. Is that grave dust? I'd suggest not touching that unless we really need to. <laughs> Does anyone ever really need to? Uh, it was, it was just that easy. Uh, it was just that easy. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Okay, so before I go and do that ritual, let's uh, tie up some loose ends because I have a feeling that's going to take me into an area with a long trudge through nasty things and who knows what. So, I still need to find Leo, Leo Rilla. I have no idea where that is. I can return the cargo to Rivian. I can do that now. I can go back to the market. Uh, Intra Lucere. Not sure about that. I can go back outside the city gates and get uh, the one item I'm missing. Winter's Keep for the case. Okay. And a Foxberry from Miranda. Okay, I might as well just buy the Foxberry. I don't think I'm going to find it anymore. So while I'm here, let's buy the fox berry. And let's go back outside the city walls, get the mushroom. Then I'll go into the noxious cave, fight the black, um, whatchamacallit, black jelly, black ooze, whatever it is. Yes, 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 I'll buy your damn fox berry. And then I'll return through the sewers, drop off the items to the dead rats, and come back into the city, and then go back here. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah. So... Noxious Chasm. Elder Black Pudding. That doesn't... Oh! I've been waylaid. Okay. Let the waylaying commence. Kill the die. Ah! Okay. Well, it makes sense. They are after me. But they are giving me a chance to prepare. So prepare I shall. There's only two of them. I have an, I have a sneaky suspicion more of them will magically appear. Yes. So let's do the Something full I can do. on preparation. You rang. All right. Well, let's mark this soldier. Down. 
Nice, that's a dead soldier right there. This should be easy. If no, if no more guys appear, this is gonna be a piece of cake. If you want this, you will pay! I will. Damn, chunk that dude. Okay. I'm here. Did they leave anything behind? Any goodies? Nope, I guess not. I doubt in a um, location like this I'd find anything, but might as well do my due diligence and make sure. Well, maybe there's a oh, they did leave something. Uh huh. Good that I soldier. Fourteen gold. Whatever, I'll take it. All right. Let's try this again. I wonder if that's a random thing or if there's a set number of times I'm going to be attacked by the Gilded Eye douchebags. Right. So this uh, black pudding. I'm supposed to float, throw a flask at it or something? Quest items, maybe. Rolona's anti pudding dissolving agent. Apply directly to the outer mass of black pudding to dissolve away aged material. The aging process makes them more resilient to damage, so this solution should revert it back to a weaker state, not to be consumed directly. Rolona can't be held responsible for any potential misuse of this product. Okay. Good to know. Okay, she's the fastest moving character. I might as well give it to her. I'll have her be the one who does the tossing. All right. Sure. Kind of a nice thing that I cleared this cave out earlier. Sounds so like a plan. The pudding and whatever cronies it has would be the only thing I face in here, unless if you say so. the monsters respawn. The rats and spiders and oozes and jellies and whatever else was in here. It should be up here somewhere. I don't see it yet. It's probably gonna. There it is. There it is. Okay. So. How can I help? Let's get buffed up. Let's do this. What do you need? Weapon. Yeah, boss. So. Hammer. She you need something. Go ahead and toss this at that. That was the whole thing for more danger. Immune to slashing. That's gonna be a problem. Let me take on the smaller ones then. That hurt! Immune to slashing. Wow. What about bludgeoning? Maybe I can help. Not immune to bludgeoning, immune to lightning. Well, that's What's fun. Up? Okay. Well, let's try fire. There we go. Vulnerable bludgeoning, vulnerable piercing. Good. Didn't say anything about immune to fire. Not vulnerable, but if it's not immune, that's okay. I can live with that. All right. Do I have any other fire attacks? No, just basically him doing that. Resistant bludgeoning. The small ones are, I guess. Yeah, that should do it. That hurt? Ha! Wow, look at all these puddings. Doing the best I can. Let's 
heal her up. Yes! Yeah. Should spice things up a bit. Alright. Yes? I'm gonna go back to my axes. You. And let's see, do we have that what she needs? Yes. Stole this pale green stone. Something's gonna happen to that eventually. What can I do for ya? Anything hidden in this pile of purple goo? No? Yeah, yeah. All right. Sure. Sounds like a plan. I wonder if without that if say, flask so. to weaken it, that battle would have been possible for me. I wonder if it would have been just straight up impossible or just simply a lot harder. That might be something to try on a future playthrough. Try doing that battle without tossing the flask at it and see if it's possible. Yeah, yeah. Is, is she going to be shown on the map? Probably not. She might be inside the city now. She's, let's see. All right. I don't remember if she's inside the city already or if she's still outside the gates. One way to find out, I guess. Good to see you, friends. This is my sister, Fraser. Looks like you all missed last night's excitement. I left the caravan to meet my sister over here. Gwen and I had only just arrived when the howling started. Soon we were surrounded by wolves. They were everywhere. I've never seen them come so close to the city walls before. They would have killed us for sure if it wasn't for old Gwen here. Ah, good job, Gwen. Ha! I might have killed you, sister. I was doing fine. Oh, please. You were shaking so hard you could barely hold your sword. That's ridiculous. Regardless, the one thing we can agree on is that our Gwen is a hero. I mean, look at that dog. That dog is awesome. She really is. I do wish she would let us get rid of that wolf corpse, though. Let her have her trophy. She earned it. She certainly did. All right. Is that all to talk about? Yes. All right. Sure. Grumbled. Sounds like a plan. Oh, over here is a marker. Maybe that's where she is. That usually denotes a quest objective. If you say so. I wonder if I could turn those off. Yeah, yeah. Let's check the options menu. Determine this order, disable subtitles, show gore. Enable this to display quest and vendor markers above objects and characters. That. Okay. But what about the ones on the map? If I disable this, does, do they disappear from the map? Nope, still shows on the map. Okay, that doesn't help me. Oh well. And 
All right. Colima. Yeah, mushrooms for me. Looks like we're stuck out here for a while. I wonder if there are any useful mushrooms growing around here. We're actually looking for a specific kind of moss. Well, I'm your girl. What exactly do you need? We need Ormu moss. Ormu? I have a little. It's not easy to come by. But you've been good to me in the past. Take it. No charge. And enjoy. Thank you, Anima. That's kind of you. All right, into the sewers we go. Would it be faster for me to go to a world map exit or just to go to the sewers? Ah, might as well just go back to the sewers. Sure. It'll probably be a little bit faster to go to the world map edge, but... Sounds like a plan. Or whatever. Here. Here. Let the pathing take care of it. If you say so. Hopefully the rats and stuff haven't respawned. Yeah, yeah. I do wonder what's behind this door, but picking a lock in front of these people maybe not the greatest idea. Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Titus, I got some goods for you. Supplies ready? Yep, here they are. Good, very good. I had a feeling about you. Come, there's something you should see. Look here, this is Bertio. A wearer up like me, like many of us. But he's lost his mind and become a ravenous beast. How did that happen? We used to have more territory lower in the sewer. Reagan there wanted us wiped out. They made a poison that drove us mad, caused our brothers to become feral and turn on us. Terrible thing to have your brethren turn on you like that. So many were lost. Only the few you see here remain. But now you've come and delivered to us the promise of a cure. If it works, we might recover our territory. I'm glad I could help. Now watch. Potion made from these ingredients will restore him to his senses. I have a feeling it won't, but let's see it. Bertio appears to settle down, blinking a few times as if waking from a dream. 
Bertio, can you hear me? Do you understand? Wake up, friend. Come back to us. Titus? What happened? Where am I? It worked. Don't worry, friend. You're safe now. Get some rest and I'll tell you all about it. Oh, it did work. You've done well, adventurer. Here's your pay. There's more where that came from, but return to me another time and we'll talk further. Nice. That drow dude's not going to be happy about this, but you know what? He can eat a dick. If you say so. To be quite honest, I'd much rather mingle with were-rats than with drow. Because were-rats, less scumbag. I mean, drow are probably the coolest elves, but they're still elves. Yeah, yeah. And elves are awful. So far, this plan and this route I've been taking has worked out pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. Now a few stops in the market district, and then back into the slums, and into the ruins of Illusk. So, next stop um, is the Ridrian. And that's. What's Ridrian? Oh, he was in that, that shop near here. Right there, I think. Yeah, Karsten's Imports. Alright. Sure. This is just the residence. Let's check it out anyway. I haven't been in there. Nobody home, huh? Oh no, you are. Intra Lucere. No. Oh. I suppose you hear about the murder. Overheard some townspeople say you were looking for help. Two days ago, I found my father, Bertram, in this very room with his throat slit. Oh, that's horrible. It gets worse. My fiance, Edwin, has not been seen since that night. Now the town watch assumes he murdered father to steal merchandise. But my Edwin would never do that. Why are you so sure he's innocent? I know it sounds naive, but I trust him wholeheartedly. He doesn't have the heart or honesty, the ambition for murder or theft. What I fear most is that father's murderer murderers have abducted, abducted my Edwin, or worse. What can you tell me about Bertrand? He worked his way up by building a business that traded in demand bulk materials, such as lumber and iron. In the past few years, though, he began moving into specialty goods that were more difficult to acquire, like rare herbs used in potions or minerals with alchemic properties. He knew how to make his profit, but everything he did was legal. Some folk may not have liked it, but I doubt he was killed over his business ethics. What kind of goods were taken from the crime scene? That's what really bothers me. Several valuables were stolen from his most recent shipment, but many others were left untouched. I don't understand why a thief would leave anything behind. Not after killing a man. It may just be a coincidence, but among the stolen goods were various bits of jewelry. Nothing terribly valuable, but perhaps easier to sell on the street. That's all I can think of. Thanks for the information. Let's see what we can do. Before you leave, I, I add that Father met often with many of the town's merchants. Perhaps one of them can help us understand why he was targeted. Alright. Should talk to the merchants. Sounds like a plan. Hello again, travelers. Have you retrieved my cargo? We have to fight hordes of undead to get it, but yes. Excellent, my friends, excellent. 
Please hand it over. Uh, I'll never make this. I don't have a high enough charisma. Just give me a file. Thank you kindly. And here's your payment. Back to business. Travel safely, friends. Fifteen hundred gold, not bad. Your rank. How close am I to level one? Uh, a little over two thousand. Okay. I'm really keen on getting turned on yes. them because I think I'm gonna fight more of them in the ruins of Illus. And turn on that will just be so goddamn useful. I really should have gotten it earlier. If you say so. I mean, it was, it was yeah, just a yeah. matter of time until I ran into him. Not, nothing to discuss with him about, um... All right. Bertrand. Sure. Birkins wouldn't know. Let's see what she's got again. Extra 15 damage, that is some damn good poison. That's a lot of money for a one use item, though. No, nothing to discuss with her. Out there, trying. Sounds like a plan. Jewel, Yule? I'm going with Yule. No, nothing. Okay. I'll talk to Adson. Uh, if he's going to the curio shop and check that out. It's not. Yeah, yeah. Nope. So what else do I have? Investigation. Return to Rolona with the pudding scene. Is the there we go? Ramona potions. Okay, I'm nearby. Maybe she'll have information on Bertrand. All right. Sure. Aha! She does. First. Got that sample for you. So the potion worked? That's a pleasant surprise. You said something about a reward. I did indeed. Luckily for you, I already had a buyer for that sample. A sweet old woman who recently moved out of the Evermores. She almost seemed to giggle with glee when I told her I was what I was getting. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm not going to send you out there for another delivery. Not like my apprentice did. Besides, she prefers to use her own messengers. You've done more than enough already. Here's your payment. I get, I get. I guess I'll see after this is done. Um, you can tell me about Bertrand Lucere. Bertrand? That bastard's dead, and I can't say I'm too bothered by it. He cornered the market on half my components and charged me an unfair premium. Interesting. Is there anything else you need? XP, 140 gold. There's some other 
blue stuff. I didn't get to read that quick enough. How are the potions? I have a lot of potions. Alright, what other shops are there in this area? The book cache. That's pretty much it. Alright, let's go to the book cache. Sounds like a plan. If you say so. What's in this residence? Greetings, friends. It is a wonderful day, is it not? I am a humble cleric of Corallon Larathian in a brief spot of respite on my life's journey. Is there any way I can be of service to you? Who talks like that? Tell us about your travels. Oh, I wouldn't know where to begin. My companions and I met up at Athcatla for what I believe would be a simple journey to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> but you know how adventures can turn out. Over time, we made our way up the Sword Coast to Waterdeep, through Neverwinter, and now here. Our final destination lies in Icewind Dale, but I could not make the trip. So, I wait here for my party to return. May the gods guide your travels. Yes, yes. Seriously, who talks like that? Who starts off a com conversation with, Welcome, my name is so-and-so. I am but a humble adventurer and I... Really? Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't the first thing to say be like, excuse me, who are you and why are you in my house? No, I haven't been in Sher Sherm's herbs right. yet. Sure. And that might, that's kind of connected to alchemists, so that might be nice, but I haven't been in this residence either. It's empty. Oh, I've already been here. Yeah, I pilfered this place. Sounds like a plan. Some crates right there. Clockwork fish. The ingenious child's toy can be wound up and placed in water where it will swim just like real fish. Unfortunately, this one is covered in rust. Back, interested in some remedies? Did you ever deal with a merchant named Bertrand? Yes, and that murder. This is such a tragedy. He wasn't my main supplier, but he knew how to get the good stuff. The dank? He got the dank herb, is that what you're saying? Hopefully they find Edwin soon, but I'm sure he's fled. You're assuming he's involved and not a victim? Of course. A shipment of jewels is missing and he's nowhere to be find to be found? What other explanation is there? Maybe he was kidnapped. If he was kidnapped they would have heard they would have heard of a ransom by now. What value is there in kidnapping a commoner anyway? I think someone set him up. Who? And why? If it was a robbery, they already got away with the goods. I mean you make some good points. You may be right. See you later. Vibrantly colored plants grow here. That's all the shops in the area. I 
Have I been to Curio Shop? I'm pretty sure I have. I'll just, just to make sure I'm not a dumbass. I'll go right back in there. If you say so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I've been in here. Of course, yeah, I talked to him. Strange vendor. Yeah. Can I go upstairs? He's got a zombie. Can I talk to the zombie? Arrgh. It's on a leash. I could probably cut the leash and let it go, but that would be an asshole thing to do. Can I talk to him about a zombie? Like, bro, you got a zombie up there. You, 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 you see, like, your friend? Yeah, yeah. Are you experimenting on him? What is going on? Is that a love zombie? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. All right. I can do that investigation some more at a later time. I think it's about time to head back to the slums. Maybe I can talk to some people in the slums. Maybe, um, what's her name? Uh, blah, blah, blah. That merchant in the slums might know something about Bertrand. So, leave off here. And next time we'll travel to the slums. Talk to the merchant there, and then head into the Illus Ruins, perform the ritual, hopefully successfully, and uh, head into the ruins.